The Inspector General of Police has been asked to stem the tide of politically related crimes and pave the way for an enabling environment in the run-up to the elections in 2023. Stakeholders made the demand at a meeting convened by the police chief in Abuja in the wake of concerns that the biggest problem in the election season is the threat posed by violence. Sifonesian reports. Campaigning and other political engagements are getting to a fever pitch in Nigeria less than 100 days to the presidential and national assembly elections scheduled to hold on February 25th, 2023. Politically related violence has been on the increase. Inek offices in Ogun and Oshun states have been targeted. There have been at least 52 cases of violence according to the police. This is why the Inspector General of Police convened this meeting. Present are members of political parties, officials of INEC, and members of security and law enforcement agencies. After a closed door session, a communique is read by the police chief. Recognize the need to protect our democratic heritage and national security interests in order to insulate the country from possible subversive activities by foreign powers. Condemn in unison and in all ramifications, the trend of political violence, hate speech, and other negative tendencies in our electoral process and reach a consensus to the need to present a common front with the Nigeria police, INEC, military, and other security agencies in nipping the negative trend in the board. The resolutions go down well with those in attendance, but the concern is how it will be implemented. The communique raised by the Inspector General of Police is perfect, is in tandem with what we all agreed. But what we're saying is that the implementation must happen. It's not just the communique he has read. Today he has expressed the openness and willingness that he wants things to be done better. All of us appreciate the problem in the country. Now he says he's going to lead and ensure that the one that has to do with the police is done rightly. So we give him the benefit of uh, uh, that. This sets the stage for more engagement between political parties and security agencies in the country in the run-up to the elections. Sifon Asien, TVC News, Abuja.